Hello everybody, Andrew and Gray here and welcome to another Geek Fuel unboxing. Um, just received this month's uh, box, November's box, so we are going to um, we're going to open it, have a look what we've got in there, see if it's any good basically. Uh, hopefully it will be, I have no idea, as usual I've not opened the box, I've not looked at it. Um, well I've obviously looked at it because I had to take it from the male person, uh, so yeah. Um, it's a fairly good weight, as you can see. Uh, I'm just knocking my microphone a bit. Let's see if we can move it a tad. There we go. Hopefully that's a bit better. Um, let's hope I've not broken it at the mount, but hey-ho. Um, yeah, as you see, Rolo is, um, again, very interested, aren't you, on what's going on. Um, you'll see Tail. You'll probably pick up on her talking and maybe sniffing, whatever. Depends what she's up to. Um so here we go let's uh let's take a look if i could yeah is it it is satisfactory um that corner is particularly interesting that corner um and that that whole area seems to be quite um quite store it must have some sort of story towards it i i have no idea at all um just move the window around on the screen there right we'll get out the trusty opening knife uh, and we will open it while the cat is busy um, doing other things it's double salad tape today we will now close here so um, somebody doesn't um, get hurt good girl uh, right then let's have a look let's open her up as it were Okay, so I, I realise you can't see a lot there. Uh, this is the first site that op that greets us. So it looks like a Guardians of the Galaxy uh, booklet. Let's pick it out and take a look. Here we go. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy. So what? Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, who we can't wait to see. Uh, the sweetest featured game, Future Rom. Something looks different. Uh, let's let's have a quick flick through. What have we got there? Um, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 comes out May the 5th the next year, apparently. So we, I am looking forward to that. I loved the first one. Hopefully they'll be able to get the back second one just as good. Um, Game Corner, as always. Uh, what we were talking about is Sword Art Online and uh, Final Fantasy 15. Um... some some game don't know if that's the one we've got uh do, do. geek guides uh so there we go uh rivendell statue for 400 dollars a resins oh vash the stampede the resin vash the stampede there um that's pretty that's pretty cool i do like the, the anime uh that is quite a dynamic pose as well and um, under supervision of the, the Trigun creator, so um, can't complain at that, yeah. If I had the money, that would be certainly on the list of things to get. Uh, just just browsing through. Um, oh, I spot the difference, Future Armour. So uh, I'll leave that up here, and if you want to, for a second or two, and if you want to pause and take a look, feel free. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see everything there. But anyway... It's there if you do. See, free content. Uh, and that's it. And of course on the back, awesome mix volume two. Excellent. Right, let's get on with the actual content of the um, the box, shall we? Oh, wow. I'm going to like this one. I think I've got my money's worth. Uh, we'll start off with this. Uh, the t-shirt, the wearable. I think we can all tell what it's going to be, uh, except possibly for Rolo, who's having a good sniff of the the rear of it. Uh, which direction? There we go. It is definitely a Bender uh, T-shirt with a, the skyline of New 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 York at the bottom to make up his mouth. That's pretty cool. I'd wear that. That's that's good. I'll pop that over there for now. Um, Really pleased with that. Definitely wear that one. Uh, 
the the fact that it's got bender on it absolutely excellent um yeah futurama is good and, and you know they bring it back they cancel it they bring it back they cancel it hopefully they'll bring it back again but who knows who knows um i must admit there's not an awful lot of content to go through this video i'm, I'm happy with what's in here uh from what i can see already but i don't think there's going to be an awful lot of content i'll be surprised if this video pushes the 10 12 minute mark if i'm honest so uh, a nice quick one this month this sorry right next to the uh, to the mic there so that might have come across a little bit loud um this I don't want to break anything else that's in here uh, is the next thing I'm gonna pick up uh, it's a geek fuel exclusive apparently awesome mix volume one box it's obviously Guardians of the Galaxy related but besides that I can't tell I I have tufts of hair coming out oh, oh well um, there we go what have we got oh it's soft um, oh it's a, it's another wearable there are a pair of socks. They are a uh, Rocket Raccoon socks, uh, official Marvel branded. So Marvel ex uh, branded mix and match. So you get a pair and a spare, so you can. Oh right, so you get three socks basically uh, in here. I don't know if you can see. You probably can't. Uh, there are three socks. Uh, oh, one's got Rocket. One's got Groot. And the other's Rocket as well. So Groot and Rocket socks. That's pretty cool. Three socks, just in case you you do have an extra limb, or I suppose just to um, just to wear mix and match essentially, like that as well. That's why they're going over in that pile. Um, yeah, I'll wear those. Why not? They're not particularly thick socks. They're pretty thin. Um, but you know what? What do you expect really? You can't have everything. I prefer thicker, um, pretty much boot socks. They're fine. They are absolutely fine. I will wear them, probably not in winter. i probably wear them in summer. Boot socks, definitely in winter. Anyway, we're going off on a little bit of a tangent there, aren't we? Um, like I say, this this video is not going to go on for much longer. 15 minutes at the top more likely 12. Um, so we will move on to the game, I think, next, which is what I can see here uh, so what oh no it's not it's a pin it's a pin uh, it it may it doesn't look like it's an exclusive there is a rare one this is not the rare one uh, it is an epic enamels temple pin so we've got a little indiana jones type um, geek fuel pin geek fuel logo pin this is much better than the usual fridge magnet or the usual pin that they give you something that looks like it's supposed to be a bit of a collectible there's a lot of shine on there uh, i don't oh it's coming from a monitor because i've not got the light on um, to reduce the the general shininess and the reflections we get um, there you go you can just about see it there so yeah um Temple Edition Epic Enamels pin. It's a collectible. That's not. It's nicer. It's number zero zero one in the collection. I don't know if you can make that out just on the top corner, uh, the opposite corner from here. Um, but yeah, and there is a rare version of it, apparently, which is the the rare version has a little um, alteration rather than the little bag of dirt, as it were. On his treads, he's carrying the little um, icon of something. So it's basically pre-temple rather than post-temple indie. Uh, wow, that's pretty nice. So one in 40 of them will have the little, um, the rare temple icon. Uh, and the rest of them, the other 39 out of 40 of them, will have the bag of sand. That's pretty cool. It's a lot better than what they've been doing previously. Just, you know, the odd sticker. Um, yeah, I mean, I still won't use it, but it's, it's a much nicer touch. I actually appreciate this rather than the previous ones where you don't appreciate it because it's just a, like a second thought that's thrown in there. But that's good. So that wasn't the game. So where's the game in all of this? Ah, here we go. Um... 
Dandy or Glimpse. A, oh, Dandy or A Brief Glimpse into the Life of the Candy Alchemist. I don't understand that. Um, so it's... You couldn't see... No, you might have picked up on that. I, I don't know. Uh, deceptive, deceptively whimsical. Dandy is a permadeath side-scrolling shooter with a host of stacking power-ups different on every playthrough with reactive enemies that force you to strategize. The last in a dwindling line, Dandy was the only active candy alchemist of his time. His obsessive search for the alchemy, alchemical ingredients took him into the ruins of the ancient world. It is said that whatever he found there drove him mad, but nothing is truly known about his disappearance. Take a brief glimpse into his life and uncover the mysteries of a forgotten land. Uh, so yeah, a Steam game, basically. There we go. Um, do I want to do a giveaway on this is what I've I need to think of um yes yes i do i don't know how easy this is going to be but um if you subscribe if you comment down below uh whoever comments and subscribes i will put into a draw before the next video goes out or as the next video goes out um I will pick one person at random, I'll set up a spreadsheet or something that picks out a random name uh, and I will then message you the code, um, the the Steam key for this. So it is on Steam, uh, yeah we'll do it that way. I will have to remember I've said this and I will have to keep this somewhere safe and not redeem it myself obviously. So that's what we're going to do. If you want to be in a chance of winning the uh, Steam key, a, a copy essentially of this game, the Steam key for this particular game. Subscribe, comment down below, or pick one person at random and you get the game. Uh, of course if nobody comments then I'll probably just play it instead, so there we go. That's what's going to happen in that case. So where are we? Uh, we are going over the 12 minute mark which is surprising. What have we, oh that's just a little bit of code okay so we have got a mug this is probably why it was a little bit heavier um, it's made in China by Zach the Zach decisions blah 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 yeah standard stuff it's microwave safe which is good for ages 8 plus but that's not what we care about is it it is a Batman uh, design, a Batman action design, Bat logo there, and then the the whack, thwack of Batman throwing a punch. I'm not quite sure what he's. Well, no, he's he's swinging on a line. He's obviously hitting somebody with his legs, probably kicking them, but we we don't quite know who. We'll leave that to the the imagination, the theatre of the mind, to decide which villain it is he's going for. Personally. I think the Penguin or possibly the Riddler. I'm sorry, the Rolo has decided my hand smells quite nice and he's now cleaning me or licking me or something like that. So, well, she's licking me, but whether it's cleaning or grooming, I don't know. Um, so we'll just give her a stroke to say thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. We've also got some bubble wrap, um, which I don't know if you can hear, but bubble wrap is nice. Do you, are you interested in that? Not overly, no. No, it just smells of plastic, doesn't it? Um, last item. So we're on 14 minutes, a little bit over the 12 minute mark that I thought, but hey ho, it happens. It is another mug. Uh, but this time it is not, you've probably already seen the, it is not a Batman mug. It is a Wonder Woman mug. Uh, and as you see, Wonder Woman there in all her glory deflecting a projectile with her bracer. Uh, and another Zack, as you can see, the Zack has branded their mugs. Of him, so don't really know why. Nobody, I've never gone across a mug and go, who who made that mug? Oh, I'm, oh, there's the logo. I must get one of those brands. No, no, I've, oh, oh, somebody's interested. I've never considered the brand of a mug or a cup or of any receptacle really when I'm drinking out of it. The only ones are thermos really, and they're quite distinctive anyway. We'll put that down. Um, there we go. That's pretty much everything in in this month's box. Uh, we have the the little info card, so um, telling us we've got a 
exclusive Futurama Bender t-shirt, which is fine. Uh, we've got the Guardians of the Galaxy uh, pair and spare socks. We have a Temple Fuel Epic Enamel pin, which is good. The downloadable game and the licensed Batman and Wonder Woman mugs. Um, yeah, so am I happy with my value for money this month? Yes, I am. I've got two mugs out of it. I've got a t-shirt. I've got a pair of socks. Uh, I've got a game which, as I know, giving away. Subscribe, comment if you want to be in a chance to win it. And I've also got a, a better looking pin than any of the previous ones, which is a nice touch. I won't use it, but it's very nice. And maybe it will become collectible at some point. Who knows? I don't. I do not know at all. Anyway, that's pretty much the video this month. I'm happy with what I've got. Hopefully you've enjoyed me, me talking through and unboxing it. Uh, I'm not sure if people do or not, but I make it anyway. It, it's out there for you to see. Thanks all very much again for watching. We'll do another one next month when the, the next one comes through. What else have I got to say? Um, not a great deal. So thank you all very much for watching. Please like if you like the video. Please dislike if you dislike it. So up or down, uh, down below. Um, in the comments as well, let me know either way. Also, if you subscribe and you're going to make a comment to let me know why you think it's good or bad, then you're in for a chance of winning the game anyway. So what you got to lose? Not a lot, really. Bit of time, maybe. Is, is your time that precious? You've been watching me unbox a, a subscription box for what, 17 minutes now, so probably not if we're honest. A uh, couple of mugs, t-shirt, yeah, I'm very, very happy. Uh, we've already said all that, haven't we? I've lost my train of thought. I was telling you to um, like or dislike and subscribe if you want to be notified of any updates to my channel. There's always the Patreon link as well if you do want to support me that little bit further, but don't feel you have to. There's no bandings, it's just a, a minimum $1 a month. Um, that's all I expect really and you get some additional content there mainly gaming I might do some vlogs on there or something as well we'll see as time goes on anyway I've rambled on for long enough we've hit the uh, 17 and a half minutes coming up to thanks everyone all very much for watching and I'll see you next time goodbye